Hey guys, it's April from Mama Loves Food. I've learned a little bit about Facebook and that is, or Facebook Live, and that is to go ahead and let this roll for about two minutes before I get started talking. And I'm also gonna bring my laptop over. Look at this, see, we didn't have comments the other day. So I've got my laptop up and ready so that in case I can't see comments on the screen, I can peek over here and check out the comments. Um, as we're going and I'm simultaneously looking here and there right now. This will just take like one second. We are going to do a recipe tonight. Uh, we're going to do a real easy chocolate bark recipe. If you just give me one second. I will, uh, I'm sorry, you know, Facebook Live is really new and it's a tiny bit glitchy. Um, okay, give me one second and I will be right back with you. We should be good. And if somebody could say hi and let me know if we're seeing comments, that would be super, super duper fantastic. Um, I don't see any yet. We've got 12 viewers. Hi, 12 viewers. Can somebody pipe up? Hey, Erin, I see you joined. Can you leave me a comment and let me know if I can see you um, or see the comments anyway? That would be great. I'm not seeing any comments. Hi, yay, hi. Okay, so we have comments, which means I can go ahead and put my computer aside and not be looking at that, which is good. I don't want to do that, that's distracting. Okay, so I'm so excited you guys are here and I can see you and we can talk and hopefully you won't disappear this time. And I will grab my computer if that happens again and hopefully be able to um, catch up. Anyway, so we're gonna start with questions from last week. As always, I got lots of questions about my sink, which is from Ikea. I got, woohoo, yes, woohoo, I'm very excited. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got questions about the plants on my windowsill. Okay, so this is aloe, this is basil, and these are green onions that I just get from the market, and when I, um, you know, I use them, and you get the ones with the roots on the bottom, and I use them, and then I stick them in the glass, and they regrow for about a month. Um, when they start to, you know, they start out like a really deep, vibrant green, and when they start to lose color, just buy a new batch. And but it's great, it's money saving and earth friendly and all that fun stuff. I'm sure the Farm Mercy Farm green onions don't care for that trick, but it works, and I love it. Uh, and I always have fresh green onions, which was why you'll see. Sorry, my eyes are itchy. Uh, which is why you'll see lots of <laughs> green onions and basil as toppings on my recipes, on my savory recipes. We're not going to put that on our chocolate tonight. So I want to thank everybody who tuned in earlier. We had a huge turnout earlier. Um, we made GAC with the kids, all six of us. There was five kids and, and me sitting in front of the camera making GAC, and it was a little bit chaotic. It was a little bit crazy, um, but it was fun. We did it for an hour and 15 minutes, which my throat is still a little bit <laughs> dry from talking for an hour and 15 minutes straight. Am I not seeing comments anymore, or is nobody just commenting? Can you guys tell me where you're from? Uh, I'm from Orlando. I'm in Orlando. I'm from other places, but I'm living in Orlando the last many, many years with my husband and uh, five kids. And I'm not seeing comments. Am I? Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to grab the laptop so I can talk to you because this is frustrating. I wonder if it's something about this time of night, if there's too many people going live this time of night and Facebook just can't handle it. Does anybody have any guesses as to why this keeps happening? Because we had comments just fine earlier. Okay, I can see on my laptop, I'm gonna say, oh, and I can see a little bit here. Okay, they're giving me a couple. Montgomery, Alabama, hi. Oregon, hi. Down the street from me. Yes, Erin, you live down the street from me. Hello from Ohio. Is that, I can't read it all. Mississippi, I think. Uh, Houston, Texas. Sydney, is that like Sydney, Australia? That's super exciting. Idaho, Buffalo, New York. Clearwater Beach, Florida. Virginia. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see you guys. Wow. Okay. I'm going to turn that away because that's distracting. I can see myself in two spots. Um, so tonight we are going to do a really simple, I mean like stupid simple, uh, chocolate bark. And I got to tell you, I shied away from doing them for so long because I thought they were going to be really hard and you had to temper chocolate or something crazy and you don't. It's like super duper easy. You melt the chocolate in the microwave. You put the fun stuff you want on top and that's about it. 
P.S. Dante thinks this is FaceTime. <laughs> Hi, Dante. I can't see you, but I'm glad you're watching. So we're going to do chocolate bar tonight. And it's super easy, super fun. We're going to do, I'm going to do like a spring one. We're going to do chocolate on the bottom, white chocolate on top, and then um, some colorful springtime colors. And that's that. Uh, last week, well, last, let's see, earlier today we were on and we did GAC. On Tuesday, we were at Spaceships and Laser Beams, and we did Oregon. Wow, hi! Uh, and we did, what did we do? We did Broccoli Slaw. I want to shout out to, hi Raquel, hi Raquel, I see you. Can you say hi to Lottie? Hi Lottie! Um, we did Broccoli Slaw, which was delicious, and I've been eating with lunch every day. Uh, before that, we did a Lemon Mousse. And before that, what did we do? I'm forgetting now. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did Easter popcorn. Yum. Which my kids had a blast eating. And uh, we made so much that they just finished yesterday. Um, hi, Colleen. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to start with a sheet pan covered in parchment paper. Dun, 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 dun. This is my favorite sheet pan. You get them in a, a two-pack at Costco. Super cheap. Super awesome. They're the restaurant grade. Really can't do anything bad to them. I'm going to follow. Thank you, Raquel. Allentown, Pennsylvania. We were just up there. Okay, so I've got my baking sheet, and I apologize. I'm, you know, I've been working with the camera angles, and I don't think my tripod goes quite high enough because I'd love for you guys to see a little bit more of my work in space. But if I try, then my head gets cut off, and then I get complained that I'm creepy, just only hands lady. So, you know, this is what it is for right now. And if you guys keep tuning in and enjoy it, then I will maybe invest in a better tripod. Okay, so we've got our parchment paper. So earlier today, we were on doing GAC with the kids, and we had a huge turnout. Um, we had a pretty steady 3,000 people on at all time, which is unreal. And 115,000 total viewed it live, which is incredible. Hi, Shannon. Can I shout out to Alfie? Hi, Alfie. I love the United Kingdom. Are you kidding me? Awesome. I haven't been there in a long time, but I did visit, and I enjoyed it immensely, and I have friends there, too. So, um, yeah, we had a huge turnout of people watching me and my crazy kids make GAC, and it was part of a 24, 24 crafts in 24 hours thing. It's actually still going on over at Quirky Mama. If you look up her page, you can see that, although I'd love if you stayed here. Um... It's going to be going on all night, so after this, feel free to pop over there. And, oh, excuse me. Anyway, so that was fun. That was the, definitely our biggest crowd yet. Hi, Shelly. Uh, we need chocolate. Chocolate would be good, right? So, like I said, I'm going to start with a dark chocolate base, and then I'm going to go white over it, so we're going to go, like, springy-ish because it's spring. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and melt these in the microwave because I, I'm not a double boiler person. And, you know, I got several people who said they preferred this view of the kitchen. Hi, Shelly. I see you. Um, so I'm going to have to scoot out of the frame a couple times. I hope you don't mind. I hope you'll stick with me. Um, but I, people like my sink, man. They really do. I don't know what it is about the sink. I mean, I do because I love the sink, so I understand. Let's see, so we're going to get, I've got this big old four cup measuring cup, which P.S. I adore, got it at Target, it's like my favorite thing, it's not my favorite thing, it's one of my favorite things, and I've got this, this recipe, like there's zero measuring, hey Kelly, there's zero measuring required, it's just loosey goosey, do what you want, so I'm choosing a 12 ounce bag, I do prefer to use the um, mini chocolate chips if you can, because they melt a little bit more evenly. You don't need to. You don't. You just gotta watch them slightly closer if you use the bigger ones, and you'll see. I couldn't find the mini ones for the white, so we'll be using those. Hey guys, can you tell me what your favorite dessert is? Do you like, are you chocolate people? Hi, Maryland, seafood capital of the world, but I prefer chocolate. Oh, you know, we went to a really good, on Saturday, I got, I, uh, I got a last minute babysitter. And my husband and I were able to go out on a very rare date. You know, occasionally we'll, we'll sneak out and grab lunch in the middle of the day. But 
we got to go on a big kid date. I wore a dress, which doesn't happen. It's late here, 1.40 a.m. Oh, good night, Jackie. I'm sorry you can't stick around. Um, white chocolate and dark chocolate. Yeah, I'm going to use both. We're going we're gonna to get fancy. And by fancy, I mean not very fancy. Um, anyway, so we went... We went out to dinner this weekend to a really nice brownies. Yay! I love brownies. Have you tried the Ghirardelli mix? Amazing. I don't even try to make my own brownies from scratch because the Ghirardelli mix is just so good. Like, I can't beat it. There's no way. Is it an app you use to make the videos? Or is, This is on Facebook. I am on Facebook right now um, using my Pages Manager. And it is live. We are live. Hi, Nikki. Um, Okay, so we went on a date, and I wore a dress, which never happens, but I, I took my daughter shopping with me um, last week, and she insisted I try on a bunch of dresses, because she's like the girliest girl you ever knew. Um, and I actually liked a couple of them, so I got them, and I wore a dress on a date. And my point was, you said seafood capital of the world, we went to Mitchell's Fish Market. I don't know if that's a chain or not, but if it is, you should try it, because it was delicious. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the microwave. I'm going to do 20, 20 to 30 second increments until it's melted, and I will kind of pop back and forth as it's going. Ellie's BFF. Okay. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, Josie is Ellie's BFF. I do get that. Sorry. It's not always easy to read who's, who's posting. So I'm putting this in right now for a quick 20 seconds. I'm going to scoot back to you while it's cooking, and we can talk some more. So, I tried to ask you the other day, I love pie, but especially, oh, coconut cream. I love coconut cream, too. My kids do not like coconut. I actually thought about putting coconut on this, but since they're going to eat most of it, um, I don't want to hear the complaints. <laughs> Except JoJo wants her head shaved. She does. She's, she's like girly with a little bit of punk rocker in her. Um, okay, so I'm going to check their chocolate. I'm just going to scoot out of the frame. I'll be back in a real quick second. I'm going to show you too how fast these little chips melt especially. Here we go. Look at this. Can you see at the bottom of the jar how it's already started to melt? So yeah. So um, last week I asked you and then couldn't hear because lame Facebook. I'm sorry Facebook I love you. Um, but you know a little bit lame. Facebook didn't want to tell me what you guys were saying which was so frustrating. So I asked what TV shows you're watching? Because I'm about at the end of my run of TV shows. I was watching, am watching, but I'm almost done. Nurse Jackie. Obsessed. It's so good. Um, but I need something. So can you tell me what you're watching? I would love to hear it. And I'm going to scoot over here. I'm just going to do another quick 20 seconds, and then I'm going to come back. 20 to 0 start. OK. And I'm hoping that somebody has given me some TV watching suggestions when I come back. Hi! Oh, thanks! Um, my dad owns an optical, and I bought these like four years ago, and um, I just love them. They're really comfortable. You know how sometimes glasses like pinch the side of your face? These are not. They just, they're comfortable, and I can't seem to get rid of them, because I go in there every time I visit him, and I, I, I look through the, con uh, the lenses, and I think, oh, I'm going to get some new ones. And every time I get new ones, I just don't wear them, because I just love these ones so much. So I'm going to be really sad when they go out of style. I love these glasses. And they are, I would tell you um, the brand, but they are totally off-brand. They're just a cheapy pair. They're not expensive or anything. I know you think my dad owns an optical. I would pick the expensive pair, but I am way more for comfort than fashion. That is for darn sure. Okay. So it's really starting to melt here. We're getting there. We're getting there. Can you see? We're getting melty. Guys, am I not seeing your comments again, or are you not commenting? What's happening? I'm going to peek over here at my laptop and see if it's me or if it's you. I hope it's not you. Little Big Shot. Oh, I've never heard of that one. What's that about? Oh, now, my, now my laptop doesn't want to cooperate. I am a mess technology-wise, you guys. I, don't know. I think it's this, this 8.30 hour. Everyone's on the internet, so... Internet provider's probably not loving me. I think everybody's on Facebook, so Facebook's probably not loving me. I'm just gonna do another 20 seconds on this. And get it melty. Okay, there's my, let's see, are we getting... Can you see me? I'm sorry, I'm looking over at my laptop to see if you guys are answering me. 
Are you adding nuts to your bark? I'm not going to add nuts to my bark today because my kids aren't really big nuts. They love nuts on their own. Um, not so much uh, in stuff. So we're going to skip the nuts today. But if, it were, if I were making it for me, or if I were making it as a gift from my, a girlfriend or something, Grey's Anatomy, Dexter, Criminal Minds, Private Practice. Those are good ones. Fortunately, ones I've already seen. <laughs> and I should say, I only, um, we don't have cable, so streaming is preferred if you guys have any good streaming shows. And I'm learning that there's a little bit of a delay, so maybe I should be more patient with you guys uh, leaving comments, because I, I think I'm not, I think you're seeing maybe just a few seconds behind and I get antsy, worried that my comments are turning off again. What am I making? I'm sorry for those of you who just tuned in. We're making a really easy chocolate bark. We're going to do a two layer chocolate bark with a dark semi-sweet chocolate on the bottom and a white chocolate on top. Shades of blue. Oh, I've never heard of that either. And um, 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 see, I get nervous and I say um all the time. I watched back the other day and it was driving me crazy. So then we're going to decorate it. We're going to, I've got a whole bunch of candies and stuff we'll put on top. And I was just asked if we're going to put nuts on, and I'm actually going to skip the nuts this time because my kids don't care for it, and that's probably who's going to like eating this. But I love this chocolate bar as it's a really good, like, teacher gift or neighbor gift or postman gift. It's super easy to make, and everybody kind of loves it. It's simple, simple to make. Okay, we should be melted enough to throw in the parchment now. Hopefully. Let's see. No more no more shows for me? Alright, that's okay. Alright. So you've told me where you're from. What do you guys do for a living? I am obviously a food blogger. You know, I get asked all the time. So do you have a real job? This is my real job. It's kind of cool. I, uh, people always want to know how food bloggers make money. Um, there's a couple ways. You know, we have a website that's associated with the Facebook page, obviously. And I have advertisements that run on it and they get paid that way. And then also sometimes you'll see that I'll work with other, with companies. I'll work with, you know, I'll work with Kraft or I'll work with a chocolate company or something. This, I'm not working with anyone tonight. This is just me, but... Um, you know, and they'll pay for you to make a recipe for them and, and talk about them. We only work with brands we like. You know, I'm really picky about that. I don't, I don't want to tell you to go buy something that I wouldn't buy myself. That's just crummy. So those are the ways we make money. And there's other ways. Some some bloggers have like ebooks, you know, digital books. Some people, some have actual cookbook cookbooks and print. I don't know if you guys follow Cupcake Diaries, Allie Allison. She's got a cookbook coming out like next week. Super excited about that. It's um, a summary one. And uh, I'm not seeing comments again, guys. I think it's I think it's Facebook. I don't think it's you. Okay, so I'm spreading that out. I'm going a little bit thinner than I normally would. Oh, I'm sorry. I just really it's not in the film. Okay, so I'm going in a little bit thinner than I normally would because we're gonna put another layer on top. I'm going to pop this in the fridge, and you guys are going to have to deal with me not cooking for like five or so minutes, so this can set up at least a little bit. Well, actually, that's not true. We'll go. Oh, oh my, my signal is bad. Is that basil? It is basil. I have, you love my sink. Thank you. Okay, and my neck, oh my gosh, now po comments are popping up. I'm so excited I can see you guys again. Okay. So by my sink is aloe, basil, and green onions. Uh, my sink is Ikea. My necklace is a, it's a diffuser necklace, so I've got grapefruit oil in it. It smells really good. Um, I get chronic headaches, and I, just, I like the way it smells. It kind of calms me down. Um, and you can go, my girlfriend Erin, who I think is watching, sells them. Um, her Facebook page is Siren. Sisters Elixirs, and she sells the oils and the uh, and the necklaces. Aren't they pretty? I wear it all the time. It's like become a habit to do this all day long. Um, anyway, I'm gonna taste this chocolate. Mm. Classic. 
Okay. So we spread out the chocolate on our parchment paper. Hi, Charity. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Jessica. Stay at home, mommy. Best job. It is a good job. That is an awesome job. You know what the best job is? It's the job you love. That, that is the best job. I don't care if it's going to work 60 hours a week or if it's staying home with your kids. If you enjoy it, that's the best job. Okay, so we've got chocolate laid out. We're making chocolate bark. I'm going to pop it in the fridge um, for like five minutes just to kind of set a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm sorry, I know I'm out of the frame again. So rude. We're going to pop it in the fridge. Yum. Oh my gosh, that chocolate was so yummy. You guys, I just finished yesterday, the Whole30, so I've had no sugar, no dairy, no grains, and no alcohol for 30 days, so this is dangerous. Also delicious. Hi! Okay, what were we doing? We were doing my chocolate. And I think I'm going to take a minute. Hi, Dawn. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I have two boys age 5 and 11. Home on spring break. Yay, spring break. I don't want to miss a moment with my kids. They, grow, they do grow up fast, don't they? But I understand. Not everybody likes it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough job. It's uh, unrelenting. So I get it. It's not for everyone. It doesn't have to be. I respect all choices. Okay, so we're going to go. I'm going to take a minute first while we let that set and show you my sprinkle and candy bin. We're going to go for springy colors. So I'm going to get the yellow. I'm going to get, sorry, I keep peeking up at the comments to see if they're working. we got some more orange and yellow. What do you think, like an orange, pink, yellow theme? I think that's nice. I'm not going to use these. If you, if you were on the other day when I did the mousse, you know that these are my fancy, expensive sprinkles. I have a bit of a sprinkle addiction, or Jimmy's, if you're not in Florida. Hi! Hi, Haley! Um, I have a bit of an addiction. So... I bought these fancy ones for that, that lemon mousse, and then I knocked it over and spilled almost all of them. Definitely pink. All right, okay, we'll go pink. We've got pink, 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 pink. Let's see if we have any more pink. I'm sure I do. I've got to have more pink. Oh, there we go. Hot pink. Okay, so hot pink, orange, and yellow. I'm thinking it's super springy. Pink and yellow, yes. I'm glad we, did. I'm glad we agree, guys. I'll tell you. That makes me happy. Okay. So we've got those, and then of course we've got to have some M&Ms in the top. So should we do dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Let me know. Hi Joanna! Hi Mia! I'm so excited that you guys are commenting and I can see it. Very exciting. For those of you just joining, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Oh, and I'm going to show you this, just in case you're joining from another site that's been shared. That's how you spell it. I know every, I've, you know, I learned after I, both. Okay, we can do both. I'm cool with that. Um, I learned after I named my website that there are about a billion different ways to spell mama. So dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Okay, I think we'll do like a mix of both. I think we'll do that. Um, anyway, so this is how you spell it. If you want to go to my site, it's mamalovesfood.com. If you want to subscribe, um, people are telling me all different things. This Facebook Live thing is new. So I've been told that on Apple devices, oh, we're weak again. Okay, connection's back. My connection's weak again. Can you guys see me? I hope you can see me. Okay, oh my goodness, this connection is making me crazy. Okay, so in the corner here, or in the comments, is where you can subscribe on iPhones and iPads. On the computer, I'm not really sure. I think it's somewhere in the box. And then, hi Naomi, thank you, I'm so glad you enjoy the site. I do, I work really hard on it, and I love to hear that. Um, and then on Androids, it'll be, if you scroll to the top of the comments, you'll see a subscribe button. And I would love, love, love if you subscribed, so you get a little notice every time I pop on, and um, yes, you can see me. Oh good, thank you. Um, just white noise, but you can see, oh what a bummer. I, I really think it's this time of day, I think everybody and their brother is, you know, online and using up the bandwidth. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open these chocolates, and I'm going to be super anal and pull out, like, the springy colors, because why not? we got nothing but time tonight. That is not true, but we're going to pretend like it is. 
you know, I was saying how one of the ways people lovers make money is by working with brands. Well, brands give you deadlines, and I have two of them tonight, so it's going to be a late night. I see you too, Dee Dee. Hi. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to pretend that I'm not going to be up till 3 o'clock in the morning tonight working. That's okay. I really enjoy our time together. I'm not going to lie. It's like I have friends. I do have friends, but it's like I have more friends. Okay. So I'm going to pour some of these in here. There we go. And then we'll grab the milk chocolate. I can hear and see you just fine. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad to see you too, Carol. Thanks for stopping in. Yay. Are any of you here from um, from the earlier show, from our uh, from our GAC show? I'm curious if any of you have come over from that or... Where'd you come from? Where'd you find me? I would love to hear that. So I'm just pulling out the yellows for right now. Hi, Sasha. Yes, yes. Does that mean you came from GAC? Cool, yay. Um, did you watch any of the other crafts? I'm curious. There's not very many yellows in this bag, um, sadly. So we're going to do the oranges too because, no. yellow, orange, and pink. Sorry, what is it you're baking? Oh, so we are making, we're just doing a really simple, um, see with the um, so annoying, isn't it? First time, good old Facebook. Oh, good. We are making chocolate bark. And we're going to do, we did, we melted the dark chocolate on the bottom, and it's in the fridge setting. And Wisconsin, hi! Uh, we melted the dark chocolate, and it's in the fridge setting. And right now I'm just pick. we're just picking out what we're going to put on top. And then we will melt the white chocolate, because we're going to do a springy kind of color. My kids absolutely love the borax wax. Pretty sure I got about three hours of cleaning time from. Yay! I'm so glad. That's wonderful. Um, I'll tell you, we did with the bor with the with the GAC, we did two versions. We did the borax version, and we did. I understood what you meant. It's okay. Um, we did the borax version, and we did the shampoo corn uh, cornstarch version. And both of them have cleaning agents in them, and so my kitchen table I don't think has ever been so clean because it was just everywhere when we finished, and I scrubbed it all off. Spaceships and laser beams shared this. That's how it came. Hi, I'm so glad you subscribed. So spaceships and laser beams is um, is Stephanie, who is a friend of mine, and she lets me go on her site every Tuesday at eight thirty. So the same time slot. A lot. That is not a word. This same time spot, but on spaceships and laser beams on Tuesdays. Um, you can find me there as well. Doing the same kind of thing. Just really easy recipes. Me also. Hi. I did the gack already. Found it stuck on my pillows. Oh no. Oh, I will say we rolled up the carpet before the rug under before we um, we got going with it. And I still found some in weird places. But you know, that's all right. We had fun. Okay, so I've got sunshiny springy colors and then I also just pulled out pop rocks because I think it would be fun to kind of scare my kids a little bit and have it pop in their mouth when they try to eat the chocolate is that a mean mom thing or is that a fun mom thing maybe I should give this some <gasps> tomorrow is April Fool's Day oh this is like perfect right so they're gonna have popping chocolate candy hi Becca add the blues you think so you don't think that's too much I think it might be too much going for a pink and orange and yellow thing. I don't know, maybe we'll add a little bit blue at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start melting our white chocolate. Thanks guys for hanging in there. I know we've been on a while already. It's already been 29 minutes and uh, there's no end in sight yet, but I appreciate it. So we're gonna do white chocolate and I'm gonna go ahead and grab another glass bowl because I don't feel like cleaning that one out just yet. My poor husband just did all the dishes so you wouldn't see a sink full of dishes and I'm about to give him another full Dishes. So, sorry, hubby. You one second. I gotta climb this ladder to get my bowl. When we redid our kitchen, I insisted on the ceiling height cabinets, and I don't regret it. But I'm short, so it's kind of hard. Hi, Tina. How are you? 
Jasmine Burke's too much. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Becca. Hi, Cook. Okay. So we've got the white chocolate chips. And for those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Dun, 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 dun. And we are making a really simple chocolate bark tonight. And we're doing a dark chocolate bottom. Because I just, I like dark chocolate. And then we're doing a white chocolate on top. And then we're going to decorate it in springy colors. We've chosen oranges, yellows, and pinks. And I was saying that this is a really good... Hi, Olivia. How long have you and your husband been married together? Okay, so I met my husband in college. Um, we met in Spanish class in college, my last, my second to last semester. And he sat next to me. A longer story than this, which is kind of, it's a strange story. I'll tell you another time the whole thing. But he sat next to me and flirted a little bit, and I thought he was, I was a senior, and I thought he was a freshman, and I carded him when he told me he was older than me. Turns out he was older than me. He just had a baby face. I love white chocolate. White chocolate's yummy, isn't it? Um, so that was 2000. That was um, spring of 2000 we met. And we dated for three years. And we got married in May of 2003. And so what does that make us? 13 years this year. Very soon. Actually, oh my gosh, you guys. All right, this is bad. I actually forgot our anniversary. He forgot it too, so... I forgot our anniversary this year of when we, our first date. It was in March. It was like last week. Um, we went to a party. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the microwave. 20 second increments, just like the last time. You could totally use a double boiler if you're not a fan of the microwave. Um, but I'm a big fan of the microwave, so that's what we're going to use. But yeah, so it was funny. My husband asked me, he used to, he used to sit next to me in Spanish class and he would, we had Tuesday and Thursday class, and every Thursday he'd say, yeah, so, you know, me and my friends are going to go to this bar, and, you know, maybe I'll see you there. And I'd say, are you asking me? And he'd say, yeah, maybe I'll see you there. And so I wouldn't go because, you know, I was really, I thought he could ask me, right? You can ask me out. I don't want to just show up. So I'm going to bring this over and give it a little stir. Sorry. So yeah, so he, over and over again, and then on, on Tuesday, he would say, oh, I didn't see you at the bar, and I'd say, oh, I'm sorry, were you inviting me? Well, no, I just thought I'd see you there. So that went on for a couple months, you guys, it was ridiculous, and then finally, he was having a party, he was putting on a party with his friends, and he finally got the nerve and said, hey, you want to go to this party with me? And, of course, it turned out, I was a nanny, I nannied in college, I was going away with my family that weekend my nanny family, so I couldn't do it. Thankfully, the weekend after I got back, oh, we're going to do another 20 seconds here real quick. The weekend after I got back, it was my best friend's, my best friend was throwing a little party, and I asked him. And we have literally talked like three times a day ever since. Is that your microwave making that song? Yes, you guys, my appliances sing. It's the weirdest thing. They're not fancy. They're like totally normal appliances. But my microwave sings, my timer sings, and my my laundry sings. It's when we first installed them. I couldn't, it took me so long to get used to. I couldn't figure out why my stuff wasn't beeping and who was making those weird whistling noises all the time. So yeah, so that's how I, that's how my husband and I got together. And then I, you know, the next semester I actually went away to school in New Jersey. We're in Florida, and we met at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. And I moved away to New Jersey, like, a few months after we started dating. And, uh, but we dated long distance. And, you know, it seems crazy now when I look back. At the time it seemed fine, but we only lived in the same state while we were dating for that first few months and we were not serious. Um, we were not dating seriously at all at that point. And we got married and moved in together for the first time. Not only for the first time, but it was the first time we lived in the same, first time we lived in the same town in three years. So uh, that was a little bit of a rough first year. It was good though, we worked it out. We've got five kids now. 
over my phone, your microwave sounds like a Halloween song. Oh, that's too funny. I kept thinking of something. No, my kids are sleeping. Thank goodness. Nobody napped today. It was crazy. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, because I'm, I'm actually not really doing anything right now. Um, we are making chocolate bark. And I've got the first layer of it setting in the fridge. We melted that and put it on a sheet pan. And then I am melting the second layer in the microwave. And I'm going to bring it over in just a second. And uh, I will, I'll put it all right here when we start to actually work work. And I'm just scooting over to the microwave to see if it's melted yet. I'm thinking it is. So when you melt stuff in the microwave, when you melt chocolate in the microwave, it's really important to do it in really slow increments. Hi, Natasha. Yes, we're heating white chocolate. So it's super important. See, oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I love it. I know, I'm acting like I just did something super difficult or awesome. I didn't. I just melted chocolate in the microwave, but, but it's so pretty. Okay, there's still a couple lumps, so I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm just going to do 10 more seconds, because chocolate can go from beautifully melted to gross and burned so quickly. So we're going to do 10 seconds, and then it should be ready to spread over our, ooh, that was 20, okay, 10 seconds, and then it should be ready to spread over our dark chocolate, and we will also go ahead and uh, sprinkle it with some really fun, colorful stuff. And I was saying, this recipe is really good for teacher gifts and neighbor gifts and holidays. And, you know, if you want to bring something to a party, but you don't want to go all out. I mean, who has the money for that stuff these days? I know you don't. Um, you know, this is a really simple, inexpensive, but thoughtful thing to do. And if I, I'm making this for my kids to eat. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Oh, I just, I just, want, I just want to eat it. I just want to, like throw my face in there and start slurping because yum. Can you use dark chocolate? Absolutely. And our bottom layer is dark chocolate and you don't have to add any white chocolate. We're just doing it because, I don't know, I figured I'd make it a white layer on top. Anyway, so if I was making this for one of my girlfriends or a teacher, I would actually probably use I'm more grown up stuff on it. You know, I'd maybe use some white, I do white chocolate with macadamia and cranberry or you're really beautiful. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Make me feel, wow. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just pouring. Can you guys see? I know this, um, we talked about it earlier, but I don't have the best tripod. I need to invest in a better one, but, um, hopefully you can see a little bit. I get, I can, it's kind of like, a, I can't win either way. You know, if I, show you more of my working space, then you can't see my face, and people say, oh, where's your face? I can't see your face. We don't want to just see your hands. And then if I move it up too much, then people say, well, we can't see the food. So I'm trying to come to a, here we go. I'm moving it to the edge. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. So I'm just going to spread the white chocolate. And you can see the dark chocolate is hardened. And I did a pretty thin layer of dark chocolate because I knew that we were going to have another layer of white over it. And I'm just going to work it around. And, uh, I said at the beginning, but I'll say it again, you, this, there's no measuring in this recipe. It's just however much chocolate you want to do, however much uh, candy you want to do, whatever ingredients you want to use. Like I said, we're going to use, we're using sprinkles and M&Ms. What are you making? We are making chocolate bark. Yum. Um, I'm using sprinkles and M&Ms to decorate, but if I was going to do a more grown-up version, I would use, like, really good nuts and dried fruit. And then, 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 okay, we're just about spread out. And you want to go ahead and put your decorations on while it's, yeah, chocolate overload indeed. Um, you want to put your, your toppings on while it's still melty so that it'll stick. And uh, I'm trying to get all the way to the edge without, you know, the white chocolate is melting the dark chocolate a little bit. And I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. Okay, so we've got, can you guys see? I'm sorry. Woo, we've got white chocolate on top of dark chocolate. And we are going to go ahead and start decorating. And we chose, while we were setting earlier, we chose pink sprinkles. More pink sprinkles. Looks delicious, yum. And milk chocolate all the way. All right, well, we've got... It's a semi-sweet on the bottom, and you can use whatever you want. You just get the bags. Uh, I used these 12-ounce bags of chips and, uh, and melted them. And you use whatever flavor you want. 
and I think you could even use like butterscotch and stuff. I like to use marshmallow pretzels and peanuts. Ooh, God, I would never have thought of that combination. That sounds delicious. Okay, so we're going to just go a little crazy. And I was saying tomorrow is, I wish I had pretended to think, you know, this was planned, but I got some Pop Rocks out of the cabinet, and I'm going to sprinkle those on and give it to my kids tomorrow, because, you know, it's April Fool's Day, and that's kind of fun. So can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm sorry. I'm trying to trying to do a bunch of things at once. Okay, so we've got sprinkles. That was orange and yellow that just went on. Oh my gosh, this one's not even open. Yay, we get to open a new package of sprinkles or jimmies for you northerners. Kelly Marie says, I like to use... Oh, I just read that. Okay. So... Do you guys have any plans for the summer? I know a lot of people go away during the summer. Are you guys going away? We're hoping to get to Colorado. Um, we drive everywhere since there are so many of us. Um, and I'm hoping we're going to go probably not summer, summer, like uh, late summer, September-ish, early fall maybe. Uh, I went to my first semester of college out there in University of Colorado Boulder. We have family out there, so I'd love to get out there. We haven't seen them in years. Well, we haven't been out there in years. We've seen them. Hi, Shannon. Welcome back. Anyway, we're hoping to get out there. So are you guys doing anything? Do you have any plans? Anyone coming to Disney? That's in our neck of the woods. I'm in Orlando. Okay, more yellow. God, I just can't get enough yellow. It's so springy. Hello from Australia. Wow. I live in Orlando. I live, well, not quite Orlando. Just north of Orlando in Florida. Mickey capital of the world. I really want more yellow. Okay. Now we're going to do... Dun, 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 dun. We're going to do our M&M's. We have a mix right here of dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Because that's what was voted on. That's my dog in the background, by the way. <laughs> Scratching herself, making all that noise. Okay. I'm just going to, like, gently press it in because I'm ah, making a mess. I did wash my hands. And I'm going to do it again because it's getting messy. Alright, so we're just going to gently press some of these in so they'll stick. And actually, on the edges, it's already hardened, which is surprising because it's kind of warm in here. Okay, so we're going to find places where it will stick. Here we go. Yay. So tell me, vacation plans, anyone? I'm in Port St. Lucie. Hi! From across the state. Hello from the Philippines. Oh, wow, that's a, that is a far trip. One of my favorite food bloggers was just in the Philippines. Um, Lindsay from Pinch of Yum was in the Philippines, and she was reporting from there. I love almond bark. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Me too. I'm with you on that one. Okay. So I think these are basically all pushed in, mostly. And then I'm going to throw a little more pink on, because why not? Oh, and the Pop Rocks! <gasps> we forgot the Pop Rocks! I talked all about it, and then I forgot to go. Where did I put them? There they are. Woohoo! Pop Rocks! Deerfield Beach! Oh, I grew up Deerfield Beach. I did, I did. I was born in Texas. I was born in Lackland Air Force Base. My dad was in the Air Force. Um, and when he got out, he our last, our last assignment was Homestead Air Force Base. Going to Guam. Oh, that's exciting. Um... His last time was Black uh, Homestead, and after that we moved up to the Deerfield Beach area, and that's where I did most of my growing up. So, I'm very familiar with there. My engagement pictures were taken on the rocks, which I don't believe are there anymore. You'll have to tell me. Are the rocks still on the beach? I've heard rumors that they're gone. All right, so there is our chocolate bark that looks like spring threw up on it, and I'm going to toss this back into the fridge to just finish settling up. There's a few spots that are still pretty mushy mushy. And uh, you're not done with me yet. We're gonna chat for a couple minutes. Ooh, if I can get this in. Come on. We did it before, we can do it again. Woohoo! Okay. So I'm gonna let that set and then we're gonna break it up and we're gonna Oh I love pop rocks. We're gonna um package it up. Charleston, West Virginia. Hi. What high school? I went to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. So, 
Not on Google Beach, but close. 15 minutes. Where do I live? Sorry, I didn't understand you. Oh, it's okay. I live in, um, I live in Florida, just north of Orlando. Oh, about an hour from Mickey. South Carolina. Hi from South Carolina. How's the weather where you guys are? It's hot here, you guys. It is like straight up beach weather all of a sudden. It went from really nice in the evenings and windows open to just epically hot. Yeah. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. We'll wait for our chocolate to set. Those of you who are just tuning in. Sorry, I'm off the bucket now. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Hello from George, West Texas. Hi from Texas. Uh, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. You can find me at mamalovesfood.com and Mama Loves Food, the Facebook page. I am here on Thursday nights at 8.30. I'm on Spaceships and Laser Beams, Tuesday nights at 8.30. And we pop on during the day sometimes just to say hi with the kids. I have five kids aged nine to two. And, oh, my connection is weak again. Man, I'm so bummed about that. Anyway, and we pop on during the day sometimes. Uh, two days ago, we popped on and made some potato wedges, some steak fries. And this morning, we popped on and did GAC, which was fun. Dubai, oh my gosh, cool. Wow, that is on my bucket list. I would love to get to Dubai one day. Yeah, so today we made GAC with the kids, and it was a total chaos, but it was a lot of fun. I had never made gak before. The slimy stuff, we made it two different ways. We made it with borax, one with borax, and then one that was like super little bitty kid friendly, safe with a shampoo and cornstarch. It was fun. Have you guys ever made it? I'm going to go ahead and stick these sprinkles back in our sprinkle basket while we wait. Anyway, so I'm on a lot. I kind of, I'm digging this Facebook live thing. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Are you guys enjoying it? Is there anything, you know, I, uh, I'd love to hear if there's recipes you'd like to see. I try to do ones that can be completed in about 30 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes, start to finish. I like to be able to show you the whole thing, literally measuring, cooking, baking, whatever it is we're doing to completion. That way you know that there's no magic of television and, uh, I'm not actually giving you a 45 I'm not showing you a 45 minute recipe that takes you two hours because I just, that makes me crazy. You know, you watch these shows and they're like, 30 minute recipes, anyone can do it. And uh, when you actually do it, it's like, you know, six hours. And you're hating life and don't even want to look at the food when you're done with it. So anyway, if you guys want to see anything, I'm good for savories or sweets or appetizers and anything in between let me know if there's anything you want to see and I can always move my camera around to the stove or we could get a hot plate if you guys want to see stuff sizzling and cooking so uh, let me know I love that same basket for my decorating stuff too. oh I have that same yeah that's my Walmart special they're good I got a whole bunch of them in my pantry hi from Northeast Ohio hi Christine wants to know if I homeschool I do homeschool I do um, yeah, my oldest went to public school originally. I, w I went to public I went to public school. I have nothing against public school. Um, but when he went, he just, he, you know, it wasn't his thing, and we travel a lot. So we've given each of our kids the choice, and we give it to them every fall if they want to enroll in school. And so far, nobody has. And they're doing, they're doing very well with homeschool. So, um, you know, as long as it's working for us, we're going to keep doing it. Do you guys homeschool? Do any of you homeschool? I love to hear. I love finding fellow homeschool parents to commiserate with because it's not an easy job. It is definitely not. Do you make a lot of crock pot recipes? Um, define a lot. Uh, I do have some. I do have a few. Um, I don't know if crock pot recipes would be the greatest for this show because they generally take four to six hours. Um, but I do. If you go to mamalovesfood.com, on the right hand column, there is actually a, an, entire section of crock pot recipes. So I do. I have several. You do too. Oh, awesome. How old are your kids, Christine? Mine are, my oldest, my school kids are fourth grade through kindergarten. I have three of them in school and then two little ones. Nova Scotia. Yay. I love all these uh, people from all over the world. Any kid-friendly easy side dishes? I'm tired of making corn all the time. Okay, so my kids, yeah, we could do some of those. 
my kids favorite 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 side dish right now and mine too actually is roasted broccoli have you guys done roasted broccoli before it's so good you put fresh broccoli in the oven super easy you drizzle with um, olive oil and garlic salt and you just roast them really high temperature for about 20 25 minutes and a Becca I'm I you know I've heard of it but I've never I've never tried it um, anyway and it comes out and it almost looks burnt on the edges it's all crispy and my kids call it french fry broccoli it does not taste like regular broccoli it is delicious New York in the house hi New York we were just up there we drove through New York City we did not stay in New York we drove to New York City to get to Connecticut recently so what else oh it says do I do cakes a lot um I'm not much of a baker, I'm not going to lie. Baking is not my forte. I love to take a box cake mix and jazz it up a little. We could definitely do some of those for sure. Um, I do like to do that because, you know, who wants to bring a plain box cake mix anywhere? Hi! Oh, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm so sorry. To Tosif? Tosif Hensley. Hi, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, so we, we could do those for sure. We can do some uh, jazzed up box cakes mix. We like to make cake mix cookies. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm just not much of a baker. It doesn't come naturally to me. But as long as I have that base um, to start out with, we can make some good stuff. And I just bought a piping bag recently. If you tuned in two weeks ago, I believe it was, we did a lemon mousse and I piped it on screen, which was terrifying because the time before that I tried piping, Sorry, my shirt's gone down. Um, I, it exploded on me, and that was so embarrassing. Oh, I'm glad I got it right. Good. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Genevieve. Part dips. Party dips. Yes. Oh, yeah, I've got a few really good party dips. We could totally do party dips. Great. Oh, I love these suggestions. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man, now you've got my wheels turning. I was going to do fudge tonight, and I changed my mind at the last second because I have no willpower. Oh, I'm glad you thought it looked good. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I have no willpower on fudge. So I decided not to do fudge tonight. I'm going to wait to do fudge when we're going to go see people on the weekend so I can pass it off on them. I was just scrolling through Facebook quick and the mannerisms you were using make you look, I can't see it, a female Alton Brown. <laughs> I adore Alton Brown, so I will take that as a compliment. Tanya, thank you. Uh, easy breakfast recipes before school. Oh, we can do that. Maybe some like breakfast burritos that you stash in the freezer. I like that idea. These are great ideas. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to scroll back because I missed a couple of these com uh, comments. Excuse me for getting super close. Banana pudding. <gasps> Ooh, I have a really good banana. All right. Like I said, I'm not much for doing from scratch. So we've got a good banana pudding, but it uses a, uh, uses a mix as a base. But it's kind of a banana pudding cake thing. Okay. Easy mac and cheese recipe. I gotta tell you, mac and cheese, I buy a, I buy a block of Velveeta and I just toss it in with my cooked noodles and it's delicious. And everybody always asks me, wow, how'd you make that? And it's literally just chopped up Velveeta. So, okay. Where, I know I just saw one. Oh, easy dishes for kids. So, uh, yeah, we've got some easy dishes for kids. Like some, you guys like one pot stuff? We do a lot of those. Um, where you just throw it all in a pot and stick it in the oven and it comes out all ready and done. After school snacks, we could do that. We could get some good granola recipes. Excuse me, I'm thinking our chocolate's probably done. We've been chatting for a while. Let's go ahead and check that out. <clears throat> Solid as a rock. I'm sorry, I should never sing. It is terrible. Okay, so our chocolate bark is done. Yay. Okay. See? Okay, I can feel it's a touch soft on the bottom. Thought it was done. I don't know. It feels like it might be a touch soft at the bottom. We're gonna we're gonna go on a limb and try it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, break it up. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for my big knife. There it is. Aw, my sweet husband did all the dishes, so. I was looking in the dirty, dirty pile and it's, it was in the knife block. All right, so all you do is just chunk it up. That is it. And since we did it on parchment paper, it won't stick at all. My kids just want to eat everything and I need an idea for them too. <laughs> my kids eat constantly. I, so I feel your pain. I was complaining about that earlier on our 
on our last podcast that they just they eat me out of house and home. It's incredible how much food they eat. Okay, did I? Nope. Okay, yay, look at that. See? Alright, I'm not gonna lie, we were a little premature. I'm gonna throw this back in the fridge. Because <laughs> it's melty on the bottom. God, I got excited and thought we were done. Any healthy recipes for noodles? Um, I don't eat a ton of noodles. We do a lot of zucchini noodles. Have you tried those? I love zucchini noodles. Yeah, growing kids. They are growing, that's for sure. Um, I do have a few one pots. We do a spaghetti, or sorry, a baked zee pepperoni pizza thing where I can shove spinach and squash and all kinds of stuff in there. Soups. I do a lot of soups. I have tons of soups. We can definitely do some soups. I don't cook a lot of fish. Um, I kind of have a one method for my fish, and I drench it in butter and broil it. <laughs> and it comes out so good, so I really haven't done a whole lot of experimenting with fish. I gotta tell you, I, I'm a self-taught cook. I have not gone to any culinary training or schools. I did not learn to cook growing up. My mother, who I adore, just didn't cook much. So. Um, when I got married is when I learned how to cook. Hi, Erin. Uh, so I'm still exploring. You know, it's been 13 years, but I didn't cook probably the first four years because we were both working a lot of hours, full-time jobs. But when I decided to stay home with the kids is when I really um, started teaching myself to cook. So that's been about the last nine years. And it's been a slow journey. Um, and I feel like I've got a lot of it down. Obsessed with tilapia. I love tilapia. I do. I've got to tell you, the way I do tilapia is, I'm sorry, God, my allergies are so bad. Um, I put the fillets down on the baking sheet. I melt a stick of butter and I drizzle it over. I'm, I'm doing it for a lot, so a, a stick of butter is for a lot, a lot of fish. My kids adore fish. Um, I, put it, I drizzle a stick of butter over it, garlic salt. I put it in at about 425 for 10, 15 minutes, depending on how thin the fillets are. And then when they come out, I squeeze lemon juice, and that's it, and they're so good. Haddock. I don't know that I've ever made a haddock. Another recipe. So I come on at Mama Loves Food, the, the Facebook page, every Thursday at 8.30. And then on Tuesdays at 8.30, I go on to Spaceships and Laser Beams, and I, I broadcast from there. And you can usually find me on either page on Tuesday and Thursday because we share between the pages, so it should come up on both pages. So um, if you could subscribe to me. That would be great. And if you could subscribe at Spaceships and Laser Beams, that would be great. That's Stephanie's page at Spaceships and, La Spaceships and Laser Beams. Um, she's got a really great cooking site, too. She does a lot of parties, too. Um, mine's more family-friendly, easy cooking. And she does a lot of cool, like, boy parties. She's got a, a obsessive, a obsessive, I'm reading and talking at the same time. She's got a darling little um, six-year-old. Obsessed with lamb. <gasps> I just made lamb for the first time this year, and it is so good. I get it at Costco, the big old hunk of um, boneless lamb, and uh, it's delicious. I do a, I'm, that's actually coming up on the blog really soon. I've got it, it's all photographed, I just gotta write it up. And uh, the lamb, it's, we, I make a dressing of lemon juice. You're gonna see, I use a lot of the same flavors, I'm not gonna lie. A lemon juice, <laughs> you're welcome, Carol. Lemon juice, garlic, pepper, salt, uh, something else. I'm missing something. Anyway, make a really um, kind of a thick sauce with it and then sear the lamb and then put it in the oven. It's delicious. I'm going to keep you in mind. You, you do all recipes. Yes, I, I'm pretty much all recipes. During the day, like I said, I'll pop on with the kids sometimes and we'll do some crafts, but my website is 99.9% .9 recipes. And um, the Facebook page, we post every hour on the hour, different recipes from all different sites, mine included. I love Middle Eastern food and blossom. I love it, love it, love it. I haven't made a lot of it, but I do love it. Maybe that's something I should explore this year. Um, I like pretty much all foods, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty um, not partial to types of food. I like it, it's good. My pants size will tell you that. <laughs> anyway. Hopefully this chocolate will be done soon. I can't believe we've been on for an hour. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We made, for those of you just tuning in, I am April from Mama Loves Food. And we made a really simple chocolate bark tonight. And we used spring colors to decorate it with. And, uh, oh, my connection keeps going out. What a bummer. 
Hopefully I'm not cutting out on you. Anyway, so we made it. We did a two layer. We did dark chocolate on the bottom and then white chocolate on top and then we used some M&Ms and um, we did M&Ms. Well, I think you, oh, you're welcome, Tosev. I'm glad you joined us. Um, anyway, so we did dark chocolate, white chocolate, and then we decorated it with some fun candies. And we put Pop Rocks on it because tomorrow's April Fool's Day. I'm going to scare the little kids a little bit. Eric says, I only eat challah food. Could you do some recipes not including pork? Oh, sure. We definitely do recipes that don't have pork. I won't lie. I do love pork. Um, but, no, all our recipes don't include it for sure. Sorry. Sometimes they scroll too fast for me to see. Let's see. My favorite is your Hunger Games stew. Oh, that's a good one, Erin. That one's not a quick recipe, though. So the Hunger Games stew is... Um, it's sausage and chicken and like 15 different kinds of beans. And do we put potatoes in it? I think I put potatoes in it. And you just cook it like all day long. So probably not appropriate since Facebook cuts you off after 90 minutes. Um, but maybe we could do one of those like come on in the morning and put it together and then come on in the evening and try it. We could do maybe that one time. It's really good. So if you look at my site, if you go to Mama Loves Food, you're welcome, Eric. Absolutely. Uh, if you go to MamaLovesFood.com, and type in Hunger Games Stew, or type in Chicken Sausage Stew, or just go to the Soups and Stews tab on, this, on the right-hand column. I think this is right for you. Um, it'll be in that tab. You'll be able to find it. And that's a good one. That's a really good one. All right, we're going to check our chocolate again. Let's see, did it be hard enough? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice and hard. No more fingerprints in it. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, so we're just going to break it up. I'm going to grab, I'm going to lean down here and grab a Tupperware out. And we're going to put it in. Here we go. Oops. Did you guys ever just get really frustrated with your Tupperware and throw it all, all away and start over? I feel like I'm at that point. I've been collecting Tupperware for 13 years. And my Tupperware drawer is just, it's a disaster. It's a total disaster. Nothing matches anything. And, oh, it's a mess. Okay. Oh, we're getting piecemeal. All right. I'm not going to lie. I probably didn't leave this long enough in, but I wanted to show you what it looks like at the end. Yeah, it's still a little bit soft, but that's okay. It'll harden up when I leave it overnight. And the kids will be excited to eat it in the morning. Well, not in the morning, not for breakfast. Please don't think I'm doing that. I thought the live stream thing was odd when I first heard of it, but after the crafting today, I think this is pretty awesome. I'm glad I came across your page. Thank you, Natasha. What a nice thing to say. I'm glad you came across the page, too. And I agree. I thought it was wacky at first when somebody told me about it. Um, and then, you know, a girlfriend kind of dared me to try it, and I'm a little bit addicted. I won't lie. It's fun, you know, and it gets a lot of engagement. And, you know, I work from home by myself. I don't have any local colleagues. I have, you know, plenty of other food blogging friends, but nobody like that lives down the street. So it's neat to go ahead and get on and talk to people who like what you do and appreciate what you do. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just chopping it up. I've got my big old knife and I'm pulling it off the parchment paper. And like I said, I probably could have waited another 10 minutes on um, letting the chocolate harden just a touch more, but it's fine. It'll solidify all the way through when we on the countertop overnight and you can just seal this seal it up real well and you can put it in the fridge but you don't need to you can put it on the countertop uh, Ooh, a pop up just popped on my finger wasn't expecting that anyway so yeah i'm really enjoying the facebook live thing i'm not i'm not gonna lie it's it's refreshing to talk to people who enjoy what you're doing um, you know i've been i've been blogging and food blogging since 2008 so eight years of kind of putting my stuff out there into the void. You know, people don't comment on blogs much. They don't, they don't pipe up. They go, they find their recipe and they move on, which I don't, I don't blame them. That's what I do too. I can't, I'm a food blogger and I do the same thing when I'm looking for a new recipe, but I don't stop to say hi usually. So this is neat. I like to interact. I'm a social butterfly. And, uh, yay, we're almost done. Thanks for sticking it out, guys. I know probably most of you, if not all of you, still on didn't stay for the whole thing, and I don't blame you. I don't expect you to. That's why we kind of repeat ourselves over and over again. 
But if any of you did, thank you. I'd give you a prize if I had one. Alright. And you can see that the very middle is uh, still a touch soft, but not bad. Not bad. Mostly 100% good. That doesn't really make sense. Mostly 100%. Nearly 100% good. So, what are you guys doing after this? Are you going to watch some TV or? I've considered blogging because I'm a stay at home mom, but also do full time school and am not social, but appreciate the concept of blogging. You know, I really like it, but it's a ton of work. I don't, you know, I think a lot of people get into it thinking, oh, I'll just do one or two things, and it's, there's so much to it that you guys don't see. I made bark for Christmas and it was really thick. What did I do wrong? You just have to spread it more. That's all. Nothing. Oops, sorry, you guys. I just got chocolate all over my hands. If you just spread it thinner, um, it won't be as thick. So I'm not sure what method you use, but we just melted it in the microwave and then spread it over parchment paper. So you just spread it as thin as you want it, and that's how it sets up. It looks so pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna. I'll bring it up to the camera in just a second so you guys can see the pieces. I'm excited. I think the kids will love this, especially the fact that it pops in their mouth. Like I said, if I was making this for a teacher gift or, you know, mailman gift or new neighbor gift, I would probably do like a dark chocolate with cashews or maybe some almonds and cran and dried cranberries. Um, ooh, that one was a little bit, that one was still a little bit soft. I would probably do a little bit more grown-up flavors, but... But, 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 this is for the kids. So we made it fun and bright and cheerful. And I might bring this to like Bunko or something. Or maybe you want the new neighbors to know that you're fun and you want to bring this. And that is totally awesome and cool too. Okay, so I'm just going to pitch this parchment paper. My husband will be super glad that we used parchment paper. Did you freeze it to set it up? Um, I just stuck it in the fridge for a minute. Seven minutes. I don't know. Sorry. Um, you don't have to though. You could just let it sit as long as your house is air conditioned. Um, but I wanted to speed up the process so you guys could see it from start to finish. So I'm just gonna toss these extra onions in there, and whoever gets to the bottom first has an extra little bit of cake. I am hoping they don't get to the bottom tomorrow because that would be a lot of chocolate to eat, even for five kids. Okay. So here we go. Isn't that cute? It's fun. It's pink. I don't know how well you can see. I know um, Facebook blows out the colors a little bit. But it's pink and orange and yellow. Springy, springy. And thank you guys so, 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 so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I love having you here. I'm really enjoying it. I know this Facebook Live thing is super new. So we've had a little bit of glitches. A little bit. Oh, that was terrible grammar. Uh, we've had a few glitches here and there. Um, but you guys have stuck it out and I... I love that. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you participated. I'm glad I was able to see your comments today. I would love and super appreciate if you would subscribe on, on PCs, on your personal computers. The button is in one of these corners. Good night, Genevieve. Thank you for, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Natasha. So the subscribe button on your PC, I believe, is one of these corners. The subscribe button on iPhones and iPads is up for debate. Some people are seeing it up here and some people are seeing it in the comments. And the subscribe button on Androids is at the top of the comments. So you'll just scroll all the way up. You're welcome from Orlando, Isabel in San Diego. I'm glad you were here. Um, so it, on Android you'll just scroll all the way up to the top of the comments and there will be a subscribe button there. I've also put you are awesome. Definitely want to try the bark. How do you do the raspberry and macadamia nuts? So I would just buy dried raspberries and I would dry macadamia, uh, dry, bleh, buy macadamia nuts and I would chop them up a little bit. And instead of goodnight charity, and then instead of, um, you know, pushing in the, we put in sprinkles and M&Ms, I would just gently push in those. When the, when the chocolate's still soft, you want it to still be soft. Um. Yeah, so I would love if you subscribe, and I also put a link to Chocolate Bark up in the, we made movie theater chocolate park, movie theater popcorn chocolate bark, which is super yummy. Um, if you're ever, that's a really good, like, new parent gift, buy them a movie or a 
Netflix uh, membership and then bring in the chocolate bark with it's got like the super buttery salty popcorn in it and the sweet and salty is just delicious anyway so there's a link to that up at the top as well as a link to a link to oh to sign up for emails um, and every time I put out a new recipe you'll get an email um, saying hey there's a new recipe on the site if you want to click over and check it out um, I I send out no more than one a day and they're just short and sweet and um, you can click through them if you want to or you can delete them if you're not into it um, anyway so thank you so much looks awesome can't wait to try it I'm glad I'm so glad you guys liked it that was a fun one and uh, thank you for joining me I'm gonna sign off have a great night guys